The history of rubber tires is marked by pivotal innovations, from Charles Goodyear's vulcanization in the 19th century to John Boyd Dunlop's pneumatic tire in 1888. The mid 20th century brought synthetic rubber and radial designs, optimizing performance. Specialization followed with all season and winter variants, while steel belted radials enhanced strength. This narrative reflects an ongoing adaption to technology and environmental considerations, shaping the tires we rely on today. Today, summer tires consist of 10 to 15 distinct components, including natural and synthetic rubber, chemical additives, and carbon black pigment. Specialized machinery blends these components under heat and pressure in giant blenders. Different formulations cater to specific parts of the tire, resulting in a rubbery mixture rolled into sheets for subsequent processing. Polyester fabric enters a machine called a calendar, where warm rubber is applied on both sides, creating a reinforced rubberized fabric ply. This ply undergoes further kneading as rubber alone lacks the required strength. Simultaneously, numerous cotton cords are spun from bobbins and laid onto the rubberized fabric, creating channels for venting air during tire assembly. Producing the rubber for the tread involves three distinct formulations. Extruders shape these formulations into streams that combine into dye, forming a unified tread rubber. Various colored stripes are applied using paint rollers, serving as an identification code during processing. The bead, a crucial part providing strength to keep the tire on the wheel rim, is crafted from steel cables. These cables are arranged and encased in rubber forming hoops sized to fit the wheel rim. The tire assembly begins with the placement of bead hoops on a rotating drum, followed by an airtight rubber inner tube and corded ply. Inflated bladders roll the rubber around the bead, creating the inner part or skeleton of the tire. Moving to the outer layer, strips of rubber embedded with steel cord are wrapped around a second tire building drum. Narrow strips of rubber ply are added with computerized tension control. The final layer, tread rubber, is applied before the two tire fabrications are combined. Compressed air shapes the tire and the layers adhere. The tread rubber is rolled over the side walls, creating a green tire without a tread pattern. Then the tire enters a mold for baking and shaping. The mold's two parts come together and hot, steamy bladders shape the tire and transfer the tread pattern. The resulting tread pattern is tailored for summer tires. After vulcanization, a chemical reaction strengthens the rubber. Excess material is trimmed. Following rigorous inspections to ensure uniformity, the tire is ready for shipment and ready to hit the road. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.